Good morning and welcome to another resort tour. I'm a little bit foggy, so I'm trying to keep the lens clean. But we are Duke Family Chronicles, and please subscribe, hit that like button, and the notification bell. And today we're going to go back to another resort that we love. We now have completed all the aspects, I guess if you say, of this resort. Wilderness Lodge, we have done both Copper Creek, which is uh, the two DVCs, Copper Creek and Boulder Ridge. And now we've stayed in the new refurbished Wilderness Lodge. Hit the like button and the notification bells. And I'm gonna try to not get too steamy here, but come along with us. So let's take a good look at these refurbished Wilderness Lodge rooms. Come on, let's go see. So as you come into the door here, just like all the, now we don't have much a perspective here as to what the old Wilderness Lodge rooms look like. So this is our first time staying, but as we've shown before, we have stayed at Copper Creek. We have stayed at the Boulder Ridge. So this is the first time at the Wilderness Lodge portion of this fantastic resort. So here you have a closet when you walk in off to your left. Nice room, nice little sliding closet. So yeah, we just don't have a much of perspective on what the old rooms look like, but let me go there. And then here's your standard safe and looks like more linens or steamer actually and more room there to the right well at first you have a mirror here that's a part of your standard door okay and then off to the right now a lot of the new rooms are really getting this kind of cool feature here this little glass now, it looks like it almost lights up almost that's crazy that's pretty weird let's turn on some lights here and see what we got so you can see this really beautiful, nicely decorated, modern decoration room with uh, your towels and good space. Let's see what we have here. Yep, so there's your hair dryer and toiletries. So not a lot of space there. And of course, wouldn't be Disney Resorts without your H2O products. And then as you come into the bathroom, off to the right of that, what a nice shower. How about that? Now, I gotta tell you, I like these showers. I think most people are gonna really like these new showers that Disney has. So you have the main shower head here, and then you have the detachable shower head. Glass shower, pretty fancy. And I think most people kind of appreciate, you know, the tub scenario too. So I like these showers, Disney. Keep it up, they're cool. And of course, in your shower, you have your H2O products, as Brielle does. So, pretty nice looking shower. So got a little kind of woodsy feel to it, but definitely like the bathroom. So then as you come out of the bathroom, you have, uh, you know, just some spaces for putting things. Now, this is not the poor DVC portion of this particular, the Wilderness Lodge. So, this is just a regular room. Coffee, ice bucket, saw that right off to the door here. And, of course, your assortments of coffee. That's real, does. <laughs> um, and then your standard truly really should be cable labeled as we're seeing as we we've uh, been told your beverage cooler so not really refrigerator your beverage cooler now let's just kind of take a look at this really gorgeous room before we break it apart and show you what it is what a really nice room yeah I, you know sometimes i guess it, I, I guess it might have been nice to see well, what was wilderness lodge rooms before but this is really cool I mean, look at all these trees and stuff. How cool is that? And then, right here, now here's that wall, or that glass wall outside the bathroom. K 
happens. How cool is that? And then it should show you the blood outlet right there. And they do have an outlet right here, but don't see any USB hubs by this particular bed. So I'm moving into this too, these sort of, you know, oops, that's really crazy. Reading lamps and then shut off when you bend them back in. Before we go to the other side of the bed, here's your big dresser. They definitely have your USB hub port. And on this side, your USB hub port. Nice TV. And of course, the Disney seal approval of sanitation. And we have a nice dresser. Another dress, dresser drawer. So basically, six, three on each side. Small table. Now I'm not how I'm feeling about this now, okay? Really small table. Now yeah, it does come out, okay? But that's kind of weird. It's like, what? That feels like something missing here. So you do have two chairs. And of course, you have some lights up here. You have some lights up here. But I don't know about that. I'm hmm, not sure about that. And then you have your other queen bed over here. So again, this is two queens. What's kind of cool on the other side of the bed, and I'll show you in the middle there, but what we have cabins over there, camp time here, and of course, outlets. And then readings on both sides. So let's see what we got on the other side. So now coming down in between the two beds, access. Okay, and you got more storage. And then in the tradition of Disney, yes, you've got the storage underneath, yes. So now this is the second floor. It's supposed to be a, what was the label? Wilderness view? Nature view. It's supposed to be a nature view. Let's see if we got a picture of the uh, garbage cans on laundry. So that's kind of a cool feature. So you have the two lock safety feature here that you have to negotiate. Small back balcony. Mm. All right, comment down below if you think this is a nature view. Oh, I don't know, Disney, I don't know about this. <laughs> what is that? That looks like a, I don't know, a cage for gators or something. <laughs> I don't know. Good view. Love that. Look at that sun. Or sunset. I mean, wow. I don't know if you can see. I think you're stretching it and making this a nature view. It is nature, but what the heck is in there? <laughs> what is in there? And then some uh, curtain decor here. So let's get one last look before we take a little trip around the lodge again of this two queen nature view wilderness lodge room. All right, so that'll do it for our room tour. Uh, I think we are gonna reshow the lodge. Uh, again, we've done it before, but we've stayed at Copper Creek. We've stayed at the Boulder Ridge side of the, of the lodge. So uh, I think we're going to show it again here, just what we have to offer, what they have to offer here at this really gorgeous wilderness lodge. So come along with us to the resort tour. Thanks for that great room tour, Tim. So let's go back in and take a look at Fort Wilderness Lodge. So there's so much to take in at this beautiful lodge. From the moment you go to the parking lot and you hit these stairs and you come up to the lodge and the, the resort itself, but it is just packed with theming and what we think are some good restaurants or at least we'll think some good food and good restaurant restaurants the whispering canyon but the bison burger yes this is home to i think one of the best burgers i've ever had the bison burger so let's take a little stroll up here trying to keep the lens nice and unfogged because it's nasty humidity here. so fort wilderness is one of the upper echelon resorts um, deluxe. 
So it's going to have all those cool amenities. See the bus stop down there. We're going to take a good look at that. But let's go in and take a look at this lodge. We'll roll as we go across the valet. Okay, you can enjoy this lodge from the ground floor, but I'm going to show you where we've gone before, a place that no one really hangs out at, but really a great place to relax and just enjoy this entire, taking the entire lodge. So let's go take a look at the hiding place. There's Spring Canyon off to the left there. check-in off to the right. To get to this place, you just have to go off to the left here off of uh, Whispering Canyon, which you've seen our little vlog on that. And you just have to take these stairs up here. Yes, that's a door. We're theming into the door too. And this is where we were downstairs ground floor so you really might realize this let's explore the lodge a little bit we have been two for two with nobody staying or nobody in this little nook but let's take a look So just oodles of places to sit, relax, chill out. Some secluded, some not. And this is Whispering Canyon here. And if you're a little chilly, well, you can just come over to the big old rip roaring fire here. And yes, what you hear in the background, that's water flowing through the, the lodge. How'd you like to have this fireplace in your home? That's a fireplace for a beast, isn't it? That's, I always think this looks like something that should be in the Beauty and the Beast, this fireplace. So again, just breathtaking. Uh, down there we'll go in a little bit is the mercantile shop, the little marketplace, if you will. But just trying to show some of this incredible theming and Native American headdress there. So since nobody's here, let's go take a look. That was cool yesterday. We'll insert it here. The video of Goof and Pluto was over there. So yeah, this is a this is an actual uh, it's a stream that comes down here, comes into the uh, lodge. It actually doesn't go out to the river though. It just kind of goes off into I think filterization system by the pool. pretty quick because I know I'm going to fog up. So you can see the uh, creek coming through here all the way down there. Swimming pools down there. We'll go down there in a sec. But here's where it came in at. How cool is that? We're not quite sure where these lodges separate. I mean, we know Boulder Ridge is down this way. We'll go take a walk down there. But where we stayed before was actually Copper Creek right up here. So we're not sure whether this separates 
This is Fort Wilderness Lodge. Or is this Copper Creek still? And Fort Wilderness Lodge goes back down through the uh, restaurant there, the Artist Point, and uh, is off to that side. So I'll, sh I'll show you what I mean here. But here's this another side of the totem pole and the mercantile gift shop here. So we think pretty much. Um, I think pretty much everything is out back up opening here at uh, Disney. There was, a, I guess, the only thing here in the resorts that was still to remain closed, believe it or not, is actually the hot tubs. The hot tubs uh, in some of the resorts were not open. Not sure why, but so now we're outside of the lodge, and uh, this is how you make your way from the lodge, which is right there, or I should say main hall, great hall, down to the bus stops. Here's the arcade that we'll insert some video now. And to get to the buses, you do have to come here, past the arcade, and down here. The buses tend to be pretty busy, so, I don't know, may want to think about driving, right? We're going to have to see. So we're going to head to, head into Epcot today, but just as a resort, I guess, information, bus stops tends to be pretty crazy. It's a big resort, so a lot of people can get on. So you might be better off driving. And then through the trees, there's the Boulder Ridge, and that's the DVC, other portion of DVC properties. Now they, we do not give a great review of the Boulder Ridge, but in all fairness, they are being refurbed. So we'll have to come back and stay when they're referred to. And they also have these cabins now. They're crazy expensive. Um, I think you can still use DVC points if that interests you or you're a DVC member. So let's go back out here to the pools and show you one of our favorite pools here at Disney, which is the Boulder Ridge Quiet Pool. Constantly having to get that fog off the lens, but just wanted to show you appreciation for some of the theming here really is a very nice, uh, relaxing lodge, I'll say that. Um, I think once they get the uh, Boulder Ridge component updated, this will really be a you know higher deluxe resort to stay at. Oh, we got a Disney bunny. Let's be really quiet. Maybe, maybe, maybe we can get him. I'm gonna zoom in here. See if we can get the Disney Bunny. Yes. That would be Rabbit from Winnie the Pooh, right there. So if you come down the way I did, here's Geyser Point, right here. This is where the Bison Burger is and then off to the side of this quiet pool. Now, I think it's closed, but let's see what the hours are. Hours are 7-Eleven. There are some people in here. So let's just take a little look, see. Disney, Disney pools are really a hit and miss with how warm they are. I've said this before, you just don't know. I mean, sometimes they're very warm and just really good, nice to swim on and swim in, and sometimes they're just, they're frigid. So, I wanna show there's a family in there. But just get a feel for this is the relaxation pool, the quiet pool. So basically, no rowdiness, just chilling out. But we really do like this pool. It's a very nice pool. All right, so let's go on to see some of the lakefront views.
So this is a sit down place and you can also order from the bar too, but take out as well. So we have options, mobile ordering, that kind of stuff. Now, if you watched our Boulder Ridge video, one of the things I was very disappointed in, they got rid of the bison. There's no more bison. There's just trees. They used to have a little baby bison right here and a mama bison. It was so cute. And then they got rid of it. So, so that's where we came from and uh, just walked around. There's the quiet pool. And like I said, this is Geyser Point right here. So that's 360. Hopefully they make you too dizzy. So, another appreciation for the ambiance, the theming here at Fort, the theming here at Wilderness Lodge. It looks like it's steaming. So this is a really good shot of the pool. So this is the, uh, I'll show in a second here, but in back of me is the salon. So this is the main pool. So this is always going to have a lifeguard. And then we'll show you there's a hot tub over there. And there's a picture of the hot tub, actually two hot tubs. And right over there is the splash pad, kitty area, I guess. So again, with all your deluxes, you do have a salon. So this is a salon by the springs. Temporarily closed right now. So I'm not sure when that's gonna reopen, but that's what that building is. And then swing back around here. Again, main pool. And this is circling back around, back towards the lodge now, uh, from the main pool. And you got this gorgeous waterfall. This is pretty awesome at night. You now we've done some several little clips from this uh, pool. It's a good picture of the entire lodge here. Through here is another sort of sit down area uh, slash takeout. This is the Roaring Fork. And then we'll just go back up and see Artist Point. And then that should complete our resort tour. So, Artist Point Dining was a character dining. Um, maybe they have, I'm not sure whether they serve lunch or not, but we went to the uh, Snow White. Evil Queen, and a couple of dwarfs were there. So that hasn't got up and going yet. So and then past Artis Point, we come back down here to the Roaring Fork. And that magic bar is one of my favorites right there. So thank you for joining us on our revisiting Wilderness Lodge. I think we could say that the refurbishment of the Wilderness Lodge portion of this resort is awesome. Uh, only complaint was, could dial it up a little bit on the uh, hot water scenario, but I think once they redo the Boulder Ridge section of this, this will definitely be a trifecta uh, experience here at uh, Wilderness Lodge. And what's nice is you can again just take a bus over to Fort Wilderness Campsite and you can do all the things over there and have fun and eats and pony rides and horse trail rides, uh, all that stuff. So thank you for joining us our revisiting Wilderness Lodge. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and until our next adventure, see ya. Here's a list of uh, all the ingredients. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's, it's just got sugary goodness. Let's just say. So that. here's an up close and personal of the sugary goodness from Wilderness Lodge Magic Bars. Now it's got a little twist compared to what I had as a kid. The uh, M&Ms, that's a little different. But we're gonna have a taste here, so let's do bite it. for Breezy. Uh, you can hear the the angelical music going. Yes, is it awesome? Yes, it is. And Kiki's first bite. Da -da. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know if you can really see. 
all the sparkles. There's like glitter even. <laughs> now that's definitely a difference from my, my uh, Our shimmery my little treasure. treasure. Yep. Awesome. Is my first taste of the magic. Wow. M&M's do good. But you know what? That's just a mixture. M&M's, no M&M's, 